Hi, welcome to our first figure drawing lesson. In this lesson, we will be using shapes that we are familiar with to build our figure. Human anatomy is one of the most complex forms to draw. So when we break down the figure, it will be easier for everyone who are just starting to learn how to draw a human body. Let's bring us back to geometry class. Do you remember drawing shapes? Were you one of those people who tried to draw the best geometric 3D cubes, cylinders, and spear shapes? Well, you're in luck. Your hard work paid off. We're going to use these simple shapes to build our figure. Here are some of the shapes we will be using. Now I will demonstrate how to use them. On the left is what I will be referencing. I start from the head and work my way down. Draw the neck long so it's in the shoulder. I try to draw the rectangle in a 3D form to show there are different planes. Don't worry if it doesn't look clean the first time. Just focus on drawing each of the shapes in the right angle. The ribs is inside the rectangle of the shoulders. The circle in the stomach is the distance between the ribs and the hips. It's around the size of your fist. The line I drew across the front of the hips is just to show the shape of the pelvis. When drawing these shapes, think of overlaps as well. We will be learning that more in detail, but for now, just think of which shapes might be in front or behind another shape. Even though cylinders are straight, I tried to add a little bit of a curve to the directions of the legs. It gives a much natural feel to it. For now, just draw the hands and feet as triangle shapes. I'm doing the same with the arm, a bit of curves. I erased here because I noticed the angle was off. You can see even here, I'm drawing each of the shapes in front of the other shapes on the arm. I always go back to the head last because I tend to draw the head size small. When doing these figure exercises, it's important to not get caught up on drawing the face. It's because we want our main focus right now to draw anatomically correct. Let's do another example. Now we're doing a male figure and it has a twisted pose and the body is facing to the right. I'm starting from the head again. This method applies to male body types as well. I don't want you to get too caught up on the differences of the female versus male body types because all body shapes are different but similar at the same time. I just want you to focus on drawing. In this pose, we can see that the figure is in an angle compared to the previous. Since the body is facing to the right, I use the rectangle shape to show the different planes. The flat surface of the planes on the box tells us the direction of where the front versus the sides are facing and it gives a 3D shape. If you are struggling, try drawing with only stick figures, then draw over those lines. It is similar to drawing the skeleton of the body. Now I'm drawing the muscle around the neck. I'm trying to find where the arms are going to stick out from the shoulder. 
I'm also paying attention to the angle of the cylinder. I'm drawing very loosely to give a more natural feel to the lines. If you think about it, it kind of looks like the wooden human figure. So once you know all the places of these shapes, it'll be fun to use them for your own poses. I tend to find those mini wooden figures to not be useful for me because I like to practice with real life references and practice enough to draw on the top of my head. Once you practice enough, I'm sure you will be able to do it too. Instead of drawing straight cylinder up and down, I'm curving the shape and also giving it different directions for the top versus the bottom leg. I'm using simple triangle shapes for the feet. After drawing the figure, I go back to fix the head shape again. Now I'm starting to draw the muscles and fat of the figure. Right now, I realized I drew the start of the cylinder of the arm from the shoulder a bit low as I'm drawing the muscles. Because of the guides, it is much easier for me to draw around it and to give its full body shape. Here, I created references that you may use for you to practice. You may use them for any type of body shapes because they are kind of like the skeleton of human, but with simple shapes. I hope you found this first lesson helpful. Let us move on to the next one.